hello guys so today um, I'm scheduled for domestic hot water storage tank replacing a relief valve that's a temperature relief valve has to be replaced every five years so I'm gonna show you the procedure how you can replace safely uh, stay with me so this is my atmospheric boiler for domestic hot water so this is my inlet and that is my outlet so the water comes here heat transfer gets heat from the boiler and goes back into the storage tank see going into the storage tank and from there on top of the storage tank the water goes into the building so I'm here to replace this valve this is called TNP temperature and pressure relief valve that was installed in March 2020 now it's September 2025 so every five years we have to replace this is a safety device on equipment so first of all I am going to isolate the valve these two valve and I will isolate the supply valve and then I will drain the tank from the bottom and I will release the pressure make sure there is no water coming out and then I will take this one out so in order to replace TNP temperature and pressure relief valves um, the supply um, has to be closed the supply valve has to be isolated these two valves which is uh, coming from the boiler has to be isolated and you have to just pop this thing out just pull out the lever and you can see the water is draining so you have to drain the water until the PRV level you don't need to drain the whole tank so once the water is drained you have to open this termination first and then open the PRV so my TNP is uh, almost losing make sure just jiggle it and see there is no pressure and move. it happens right so don't worry about it once the pressure is stable it won't go see the water is stopped now so I this is my new PRV T-tape first then dope it and slides in so I put the new one in now I'm going to attach termination I attach my termination I'm going to type this with my wrench start tightening it don't go so crazy otherwise the threads gone bad three to four turns would be good enough now I'm opening my valve so if you see this this is open position this is shut off position so I'm going to turn anti-clockwise
The other one, same anti clockwise. Now the top one. Now there is a air inside the tank because I opened the valve. So just put this lever out, pop this thing out, and remove the air. You will see the pressure. Now you are good to go. Uh, so in order to replace um, any safety, if you are not uh, feeling comfortable uh, by doing a replacement, uh, because definitely it's a, sometimes it's high pressure, uh, mostly technicians who comes in the trade, uh, they uh, kind of are scared. Uh, they feel scared basically uh, from the hot water or the commercial equipment so if you don't feel comfortable so ask your uh, field service manager or ask your supervisor uh, in order to proceed uh, replacement of any part uh, in the boiler uh, this is your safety as well so thank you so much and uh, i hope these video will be um, helpful for those uh, who belongs to uh, Toronto, especially in Ontario.